welcome to my diary of a nutrition student channel so today it is february something early part of february and my year has not gone well so far regarding um university i haven't been in apart from for my exam my exam result was very poor i did pass but only just um so I think I'll probably updated you on that exam and how much I'm like excited to do the exam. So after that time, very soon after that time, like four days after or something, my mum, bless her, was rushed into hospital with a heart attack, um, a serious one. If you know about these things because of your cardiology, now I'm getting the grey matter going and thinking I've spoken to you about this. Anyway, she has an NSTEMI, um, which is a non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. Look at that, I'm learning my stuff. Um, I've learned quite a lot about the heart. I'm very interested about the heart. Yes, I have spoken to you, I know I have, because I said about the inconsistencies between the British Heart Foundation and the NHS speaking about sugar and fat. So there's still this argument of sugar and fat going on, so I might go down that route for my final year project. Probably gonna do that for my final year project proposal, because I think that'd be, that give me a little bit of time then to think about what I'm gonna do next, next September for my project. Um, so I, I didn't want to put in extenuating circumstances because to me, you know, I've got to lock my door, the weird guy over there, to me extenuating circumstances is like kind of giving up to life pressures but being realistic I have put in extenuating circumstances because tomorrow at midnight I've got an essay due. I think I'm going to make it. I think today I've, I've called in the troops and I've asked somebody to go sit with my mum for a, about four hours this afternoon. I might be able to get it done in that time. Not sure. Uh, but he however, um, yeah, it's just life struggles. And I do wonder sometimes, am I not supposed to be doing this? The thing that's really frustrated me and the university are at fault for this, which is a shame is that I've had, I've emailed the um, attendance office and I've emailed my program leader to say I've got these issues going on at the moment um, in my personal life with my mum and then I've had an email back from an individual tutor saying you haven't been in this is shocking your attendance and da 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 and your performance is going to suffer yeah I know that and you should know that I'm not in because so that was a bit annoying and a bit frustrating but I still really want to get this degree and I above all else I mean my work like as in my paid work is now getting really sidetracked because I'm at the hospital all the time which I'm about to drive into now again um, at the bedside with my mum because she's been left very confused which can be a symptom of um, heart attack sometimes a little bit of starvation going on there to the brain I'm, I'm guessing I don't know I shouldn't guess that really should I but um, so because I'm here all the time, not able to do my work, I've lost some people, but that's okay. Um, I believe that it's all leading me to the place of where I'm going to be, which is writing my full-time blog for nutrition and lifestyle and da da da, all that stuff. So, just a quick update there from me. Um, I hope you guys are all well and okay. Let me know how your studies are going. Make sure I'm trying to get in the car park. Make sure you leave me your comments down below and let me know how it's all going. I even have a weekly ticket. Look at that. In it goes. And that comes again. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.